So, uh, sir, we know you and your party members that are seated before us. Yes. I am Comrade Honorable Patrick Obe, the AGA Chairman, Eastern Northeast Urumi. With me is my secretary, Comrade Echoya Ironse. Beside him is the Chairman of War 3, Comrade Tongsi Eigwese. After Comrade Tongsi Eigwese, you have the youth leader, secretary, secretary of the world. And this is by my right, is my leader, the foremost leader of the local government, retired commissioner Friday Toy Ibadim. You have the woman leader, Madam pa Patricia Odia. Then you have the youth leader, Comrade Prince Okoji, and host of other executives and leaders of the party in the local government. So, sir, if we may ask, is from the way you are seated. I hope there's, it seems like there's a rift in the party at the moment. Because there's news circulating that uh, the party for the Montilly, they are having um, a situation that is not too uh, that's unfriendly. May we know what's happening with the Montilly in particular? Well, we are not having too much rift. In every party, there is always rumor, there is always problem. There is always disagreement. There are people who are most, but the day there is a little that uh, were three saying that the war chairman has suspended the uh, the national chairman, and we, that is why we are sitting down. We know it is wrong and it is untrue. So, Sakari, what is the relationship between the national chairman and his world leaders in in Eastern Northeast, and in particular the the, the world leader in Wateri? Oh, there is a good cordial relationship between the local government executive and the working committee and those at work three and the national chairman. We have a cordial and good relationship starting from the year back, even before he became the child national chairman of the party. He has been leading us, he has been a good leader, he has been a good father, he has been a good moderator of the party. And because of that, all of us are following him. That's always a cordial so relationship. There's an accusation of a rumor, if I say, that the world chairman, the world three chairman, and his uh, executive are teaming up to suspend the, the national chairman. How true is it? Well, it is wrong. I want to go in line with you. You said it's an accusation. Since it's an accusation, I'm still standing on that authority and on that protocol that is an accusation. It is a wrong accusation. Well, it is not true. Like the uh, Chinese TV in the North Asian Nigeria, daily broadcast. So, are you insinuating or are we trying to say that something is actually fishing in that world? How peaceful is that world since the conclusion of the last election? Since I became the chairman of this local government, that has been the most peaceful world I have among the level works in my constituency or in my local government. Being that as it may, I want to tell you that the channel, anybody can go to the channel and say anything because it is like a computer, garbage in, garbage out. What you give to the channel, that is what the channel could do. Those who went to that place to go and give out that information, they are not members of our party, they are not members of Eastern Northeast, they are not part of us. If you even check, the list, some of them are bearing Muslim name, which of course in Eastern Northeast by say, in our tradition we don't have Muslim name. That is one of the reason why you will be able to confirm that there is an allegation and it is not true. So are you letting us understand that those names that are mentioned are also are not members of the team? Very well, sir. Sir, can we speak with the uh World Three chairman? You can this with me. So sir, please can you please let us know who you are and let me tell about you. My name is uh Comrade Tom Seller E and I the oh, yeah, chairman of Watiri Labour Party. So what's your relationship with the national chairman? Uh, we have a cordial relationship because he's our leader in that world. So I'm aware since after the election, both of you have done the compromise. How is that? That is not correct because during the time of election and after election, we have been in a good relationship up to date. So those men that were mentioned that they team up and... Uh, the national are they, your they are not our members because like I'm sitting down here now. I am the chairman of Watiri. This is the secretary of Watiri. This is the youth leader of Watiri. This is the woman leader of Watiri. 
So all of us, we are the executive. Like we have earlier said yesterday, we make a conference meeting yesterday. We air it to the air. We view it. We said they should disregard this information. It's false. National chairman is from the world. During the time of the uh, election, he played 100% role for us to deliver the word. So we don't have any reason to suspend him. We don't have any reason. And those places that we are hearing their names, they are not from Waturi, they are not even from Western Northeast local government. They are from some of our Auchi, they are bearing some uh, Muslim name. In our tradition, in Western Northeast local government, particularly in Waturi, we don't have such names. So we are hearing for the first time that those persons are from Watiri. I'm the chairman and we are not suspend our chairman. And we don't have any reason to suspend our national chairman. So, uh, during the election, was the chairman able to deliver his board and his units? During the time of the election, from presidency, OB, from Senate and uh, Red, and even the last election in house of assembly the law chairman national chairman delivers his goods for all the parties he delivers the law uh, the word for the party i don't see any reason this past election we delivered our word for labor party so we don't have any cause and during the time of the election he played a very vital role he, he bought logistic he brought a lot of things. He mobilized people to come and vote. Even the people refused to come out. He brought a vehicle to go and mobilize them from the house. So I don't see any reason why we, the executive of Watiri, we suspend him. He has played a very leadership role in our world, and he has come to say. So since this rumor came out from yesterday, what has been the reaction of the people? We are not happy and we are urging all the media house, all the people, all many Nigerians, all the obedient family to disregard this information. It's not correct, it's false. Okay. I'm speaking with the party leader, the chairman here. Uh, sir, what do you see waiting that this uh, rumor came up prior because of the first of the government election and the justice? Are you saying that the uh, the other parties are trying to counter case of the candidates. And well, first of all, I would like to challenge you for not asking me to introduce myself. So sorry for that, sir. The who comes to equity must do so if we have asked uh, the chairman, LJ uh, chairman, to introduce himself. You ask the other person to introduce themselves, but for me, you never ask me to introduce myself. But anyway, uh, don't worry, let me introduce myself first and foremost. I am Chief Friday Ibadim. I'm a lawyer of over 15 years standing, and I'm a retired commissioner of police. That is me. I'm the former leader of the Labour Party in the South Northeast. So you can come ask your question now. So, sir, this is an ocean very round. In general, what do you have to say? I'm happy you call it insinuation. Yet, it's insinuation from the pit of air. There is no altar of truth, no figment of truth in the whole allegation or in the whole claim. It is false. It is uh, just an imagined lie to rubbish, to tarnish the good name of the national chairman, not only even the national chairman, with the party members, the party executives from this local government. Here, seated by me, is the uh, LGA chairman. Next to him is his secretary. Next to him is the world, uh, the world chairman from which uh, the national chairman uh, uh, is resident. Is the world chairman there? The youth leader, they are here. The women leader, they are here. These people making these claims are not known to us. We don't even know them. They don't carry our party card. Let them bring their own card from this local government to say, yes, this is my card. And at any rate, whatever they are doing or they have done is unconstitutional, it's illegal, and it must be condemned in its entirety. There is no outer truth in any of the claim they made. They are not from here. We don't know them. Some of them are even from Ogun. I know uh, Aslem Aragba is the suspended uh, youth leader. No youth leader of the Labour Party. When a, a committee that was set up at the national level, he appeared before me. We have not written a report on his case. 
he is not from this local government so it is all pure rubbish designed to mislead the members of the public if I'm you, there was a time I interviewed you, and uh, I remember asking you a question. There was a rumor also there that the National Chamber has a caucus or has a, has a meeting or is in, having some interactive activities with the government. How true is that? I don't think there is still a link between this rumor collecting that, that rumor there. I'm happy you call it a rumor. You see, in any progressive setup, there must be challenges. You don't forget the Labour Party is what, the fastest growing political party in West Africa, if not in Africa. And indeed, you cannot expect uh, things to just, people to just sit back and watch the, these are challenges that are just coming from left, right, center. But the truth of the matter is that they are not weighty. There is no element of truth in, the, in them. It is just uh, uh, out of envy that people are coming up to make some of these uh, unfounded claim, unfounded allegation. Some of them, I even say they are from the, let them bring their local government certificate. If they are from Asa North East, let them bring their local government certificate or the party membership card. This is the constitution of the party and the procedure for removing any uh, uh, national chairman or national chairman of the party are well spread out in this constitution, in this document. They, they do nothing like that. There is nothing like that from our angle here. It is false, it is bogus, and it's all lies cooked, uh, cooked up to just to smear the good image of the national chairman. Thank you very much. So, uh, the NBA chairman, please, in a nutshell, what do you have to say concerning this news? What, uh, what do you want to tell your people? How should they go and believe or disbelieve? Or how do you look at this news? Well, to start with, I want to start from my foundation, which is my home which is among my AGA members. And I want to put it out to them that they should disregard whatever information they have heard that it is untrue, it is not true. Being that as it may, I also want to prove to the whole world that they are discontrol elements who have decided to destroy our party, who have decided to come together to parade the affair of the party, who want to make sure they are they are taking they are taking over the leadership of the party i will know by virtue of the power of the constitution there are legal rights for you to take for you to become a member of the party and the leader of the party so i am trying to put to the world that it is wrong absolutely wrong and they are liars so, thank you very much <laughs> sir can you please introduce yourself let's know you i'm barrister dom okoje one time commissioner for information New sports and culture in the state, and presently the legal advisor to the Labour Party. As a Labour, as being the Labour advisor to this party, what do you have to say concerning the news everywhere in town that uh, the World Trade chapter has suspended the national chapter of the party? Practically, there is no legal implication because. There is nothing that is happening. You cannot put something or nothing and expect it to stay. More so, they are progressing in error. They don't even know what they are doing. Those involved are not known to us. They are alien, native foreigners, not known to us in the least. So there is no legal implication as far as this thing is concerned. But it's a name on man as the national chairman of the Labour Party in the whole country. Sir, but there's a name on the list, a man from the Water. So are you saying that, that name, that particular person is not known? The Dumoza is not our way. The Dumoza is not our way. But it's a, Abu Re is from Marwe. That is where his word is. And in Dumaza is a different uh, word entirely. In Dumaza is word level. It has no relationship with Arwe's uh, Arwe, Arwe, Arwe word. 
So uh, are you saying to Russia that uh, the national chairman has, for no reason, there's no indictment on him, and the party do not have it in mind for no reason to to suspend him? The, the barrister, the barrister Bure, is a foundation member of this party. Foundation member of this party. When this party was not even known at the national level, he worked assiduously to make sure that this party was able to break through all the zones in the country. Is this the way to repay him for the good work he has done? More so, these persons are inconsequential. Set of persons. Yes, sir. So, as a local advisor to the party, what are you advising the party to do at the moment? What is next? The next action. The party, the party itself should not be disturbed. They should be focused. Our concern is how to claim our mandate, our solid mandate. That is our major concern now. So, what's your finally? What's your advice to your followers? The, my advice to our followers is that they should remain steadfast and be prayerful. There is no balance, no protest, nothing. We cannot destroy a country that we own. We are the owner of this country. At the end of the day, we cannot destroy our country. We don't want anybody to go to the street to go and protest. We should follow the due legal process and reclaim our mandate. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.